and we're back. So um, the to close this session, um, uh, to just uh, bring our, our thoughts to a, a little bit of a conclusion at least, I want to just pull in on that um, last verse of the passage we read, verse 18. It says, Of his own will he brought us forth by the word of truth, that we should be a kind of first fruits of his creatures. Now, <clears throat> there's some really great stuff in the uh, Old Testament about first fruits, and the whole principle of first fruits is that um, the, the first thing that you do, the top priority, top of the agenda, most important thing that you do is that you give um, something to God. So the first fruits of your life is that you would give your life to God as a priority. The first fruits of your harvest is that you would bring um, your your 10% in to the storehouse uh, as first fruits offering it. If you got a pay rise, your pay rise, the first time you get it, you bring that in to the house of God and give it into the house of God as a first fruits offering. Every time something good happens, every time there is fruit, um, you know, God comes at the top of the list. And that's kind of the principle in the Old Testament of, of first fruits. And clearly, I think, you know, James being a good Jew, he would have been aware of all of this. He would have been living uh, in all of this and uh, understood that we, uh, as those who have been drawn to God, he's brought us forth by the word of truth He's revealed truth to us. He's worked truth in us. We have become uh, members of his kingdom, uh, part of the church. We've been born again into this new life. And now the fruit of that, the first fruits of that, the highest priority on that should be us giving back to him in terms of our time and our talents, our energy, uh, our resources, all of that giving back to God. But it also goes a step Further than that, if you think about the imagery that's being used here, and it's not being used by mistake, um, the imagery that's being used here is of seed being planted, fruit being produced, and that that fruit uh, bears witness to uh, God. Now, um, if you plant a seed, you expect the, that it will produce after the kind of the seed. So, in other words, if you plant an apple seed, you'd expect a tree to grow and you'd expect sooner or later that the fruit of that would come and the fruit would be apples. You wouldn't plant apple seeds and expect to get bananas. The seed that has been planted is Jesus himself, that through his, his death on the cross and, and a subsequent burial in the tomb, um, the seed has been planted. And uh, now, um, you know, as resurrection life springs forth, the life should spring forth in us and the fruit should come. And what should the fruit look like? It should look like a life that replicates the life of the seed that was sown. In other words, our lives should replicate the life of Jesus, that we should walk like him, talk like him, do the things that he did. Um, all of that uh, uh, pointing to God. Our life should be pointing to God as first fruits of what God has done. So um, in many senses the apostles were the first first fruits but we now uh, in our context here in, in uh, Stapleford or uh, Long Eaton or Beeston or wherever it is that we're living um, we are now the first fruits uh, for this generation and so therefore our lives need to display the seed that was sown. In other words we need to be um, fully representative of Jesus, of who he is, of what he said, of what he did, in order that people can see him and be drawn to him, that there would be more fruit. And that's the whole point of this verse, of his own. That is, he did it all himself, out of his own will, out of his own purpose. He brought us forth by the word of truth. We, we had a revelation of truth. We came to Jesus on the basis of that revelation, that we should be a kind of first fruits of his creatures. In other words, that the fruit of our lives should bear witness to the seed that was sown, that is Jesus. That's immensely challenging, of course, and my prayer for you over this next week is that God will help you to process some of that and that you will discover more ways in which your life can display fruit to honour Jesus and to draw people to him. So be blessed, and I will see you next time.